All right, here's some big news, but not necessarily good news for real estate investors in Canada. The 2024 federal budget just came out yesterday, and there are some proposed changes to capital gains taxes that could really shake things up, effective June 25th of this year. So let's break it down real quick. If you're an individual selling off investments with over $250,000 in capital gains, get ready to pay more. Instead of just half of those gains being taxed, the proposed change bumps it up to two thirds for everything over $250,000. Now it gets worse for corporations since there's no minimum and two thirds will be taxed for all capital gains. So here's some quick math and note that this is not tax advice. Always check with your accountant to verify this for your unique situation. If your marginal tax rate is around 50%, before only half of those were taxed, so 25% would be taken by the government. Now everything over $250,000 will be taxed more at roughly 33%. So what this means is if you make a million dollars in capital gains, you would be paying $60,000 more. And for corporations, you'd be paying $80,000 more after this change. So what are the implications? Well, in the short term, some investors might be racing against the clock to lock in those capital gains before June 25th, either selling, so we might see a flood of listings in real estate, or if they're efficient, they might be locking in an estate freeze to protect some of the gains from the higher tax rate moving forward. Further down the road, there will also be some changes to investing strategy in our opinion as well to be more tax smart. There will be less real estate flips, more refinancing instead of selling, which we're all for actually, more people likely going to own under their personal name, and in general, there will be likely less investment in Canada or more investors exploring alternate options like crypto to minimize tax implications here too. It's really frustrating how policies can change anytime and the liberals say that they need these funds to support the creation of more new housing. So I guess our other tip is really to try to offset this if you can by taking on projects that you can really benefit from the new housing incentives to make the situation a little bit better for you.